morning. Welcome to Sky World News. Theresa May is facing another Brexit rebellion after some of her MPs accused her of breaking her word over a compromise offer. The Prime Minister had promised the group who want close ties to Europe that Parliament would get a meaningful vote on whatever deal the government makes. But the MPs have said the detail of what they were being offered was inexplicably changed without their agreement. Sky's senior political correspondent Beth Risby reports. Well, staying with politics, and Labour has won the Lewisham East by-election, with Janet Davey becoming the party's newest MP. Foreign doctors and nurses will no longer be blocked from getting work in the NHS by visa limits. The new Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, has relaxed the rules, which had forced them to compete with other skilled professions and sometimes lose out. Well, we spoke to one surgeon in India who nearly took a job in America because of the delays in approving his role. Our health correspondent, Paul Kelso, went to meet him. It was a meeting of equals with their leader fated in one of capitalism's richest cities. Well, that at least was the image of the summit between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump presented on North Korean television. In behind-the-scenes filming, the U.S. president is shown saluting one of Mr. Kim's generals, or perhaps an inappropriate sign of respect. Our Asia correspondent, Tom Cheshire, watched the footage, and a warning his report does contain some flash photography. Kim aboard not his own North Korean plane, but an Air China 747, preparing for the summit. And Singapore, a capitalist country, displayed in all its glitz and wealth, all of that unimaginable in North Korea. Presented not as something to be scorned, but as an example for North Korea to emulate. The same went for the opulent hotel suite where Kim himself stayed. The camera lingers on the crowds that followed Kim everywhere keen to show his popularity even in a country where adulation of the chairman doesn't rely on a threat of labor camps. Throughout, he was presented as an equal to the US president. The broadcast called them both supreme leaders of their country. And away from Western journalists, we saw Donald Trump meeting the North Korean delegation. The US president might have been hoping this greeting hadn't been caught on camera. North Koreans also got a Donald Trump may have come back from his meeting in Singapore hailing a nuclear deal, but his troubles at home show no sign of stopping. Mr. Trump is being sued by the New York Attorney General's office for what it says is a pattern of persistent illegal conduct involving his charity foundation. Our U.S. correspondent Mark Austin sent us this update from Washington. Well, this is a lawsuit. Some of its former staff in Haiti was unacceptable. Aircraft engine maker Rolls-Royce is to cut 4,600 jobs, with the firm's Derby base expected to be hit hardest. The company hopes to make annual savings of up to £400 million by reducing the number of management, administration and support roles. Our business correspondent Adam Parsons reports now from Derby. That change feels painful. Adam Parsons... Okay, let's take a look now at some of the stories making headlines around the world. This is Sky World News. Stay with us. Coming up in the sport, to find out how... Welcome back. Let's give you up to date now all the latest sports news. Hello, the World Cup has... This is Sky World News. Coming up, the rats which hold out hope of treatment for paralysis. Foreign doctors and nurses will no longer be blocked from getting work in the NHS by visa limits. The new Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, has relaxed the rules, which had forced them to compete with other skilled professions and sometimes lose out. Well, we spoke to one surgeon in India who nearly took a job in America because of the delays in approving his role. Our health correspondent, Paul Kelso, went to meet him. It was a meeting of equals with their leader fated in one of capitalism's richest cities. Well, that, at least, was the image of the summit between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump presented on North Korean television. In behind-the-scenes filming, the U.S. president is shown saluting one of Mr. Kim's generals, a perhaps inappropriate sign of respect. Our Asia correspondent Tom Cheshire watched that footage, and a warning his report does contain some flash photography. 
Well, Donald Trump may have come back from his meeting in Singapore hailing a nuclear deal, but his troubles at home show no sign of stopping. Mr. Trump is being sued by the New York Attorney General's office for what it says is a pattern of persistent illegal conduct involving his charity foundation. Our U.S. correspondent Mark Austin sent us this update from Washington. Now, the aircraft engine maker Rolls-Royce is to cut 4,600 jobs, with the firm's Derby base expected to be hit hardest. The company hopes to make annual savings of up to £400 million by reducing the number of management, administration and support roles. Our business correspondent Adam Parsons reports now from Derby. Let's take a look now at some of the stories making headlines around the world. You're watching Sky World News. Stay with us. Coming up in the sport, find out. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Let's get you up to date now on all the latest sports news.